thing. I mean, if our subconscious mind is our memories, it's all of our core memories and, you know, whether short term or long term, here's the fact. If we give it some thoughts, consistent thoughts, then it's going to accept them as real and as, as true. And so uh, consistently thinking about things is a definite practice that you'd want to do, thinking towards something. And, uh, you know, let's use uh, an Olympic athlete as an example. You know, they're not looking at the other athlete. You know, let's say they're a 100-meter uh, racer and a runner, and they're thinking, you know, Usain Bolt over there, I'm going to lose. He's so fast. I just I don't stand a chance, right? That's not going to help them. They're going to be thinking personal best, personal best, personal best, personal best. I'm working on my personal best. They remember what their personal best was. They feel what it was like to do that and, you know, to m maybe win the race if they won a competition at their personal best. And they're using that to propel them forward. They don't know if Usain Bolt's going to run his personal best. And if he doesn't and they win, good, you know, but that's the way the subconscious mind works. You want to be giving it the thoughts that are going to propel you forward and take you where you want to go. It's, I call it accurate thought. I mean, why would you think any other way? <laughs> if, you, if you wanted something, you wouldn't start beating yourself up and saying, this is impossible. I just don't know. I'm going to do this. And uh, I might as well just quit now. You know, that, those kind of thought processes just don't work. So that's definitely uh, one practice. I'm going I'm to talk about three more key practices a little bit later, but uh, um, that's definitely one. You want to be feeding your mind on a consistent basis the kind of thoughts that are going to produce the results you want. And if you want, tap into your imagination. That's a faculty of our mind. We can imagine things. So um, I think that those are the critical factors is thinking things in a consistent way, in an accurate way, and then planting seeds of imagination or visions in your mind of, uh, of how that can come about. All right. When, when you're talking about that and um, myself thinking about, okay, what should I be concentrating on um, with, my, with my subconscious mind? Is it you know, only things that I can control because I know that, you know, I can't control Usain Bolt or whether he will run his personal best. Is, is that the way we should be thinking? Well, again, yeah, it's just what you can control. It's just you and you alone because, yeah, you don't control anything outside of yourself. All you can control is your thoughts. You know, if you think about everything in life, <laughs> the race and the, the competition or winning an opportunity for business or a new business, uh, it's your thoughts. It's all of our thoughts that are going to produce the end results. And we can test this time and time again, but it's been tested already. We, we must well just say, okay, well, that, that's a fact. And, and you know, all I have to do is think positively and imagine and use my, uh, use my, um, my abilities, my, you know, all my thoughts and all my power to generate the kind of results I want. Everybody else outside of yourself, don't be concerned about them. They'll do whatever they do. If they flop or if <laughs> they don't make it, that's, that's their, their challenge, right? And if it works out for you, great, you know, but you know, your success is you did your best and maybe you won, right? That's the whole intent.